It's my pleasure to welcome Annie Reutinger and Jim Egan. Welcome, thank you both for being here today and telling us a little bit more about this exciting exhibition that you're bringing to the desert. Well, basically it's an exhibition of, uh, of this type of art, uh, which is, uh, um, there's a total of 63 pieces. Uh, this is one of the smaller ones. Uh, some of the larger ones are close to seven feet. And uh, it will be at the, at the Galen, the Artist Council uh, facility at the Galen in Palm Desert. And it will run from uh, January 8th to the 22nd. That's really, really exciting things. And, you know, these pops of color are really beautiful. And it's not just this painting. You have a collection. Can you tell me a little bit about the people that you're featuring? Well, most of the people that are... Uh, that I painted are people that I like. Uh, I mean, really, there's some exceptions, but uh, they, for example, people that have reached the highest level in their profession, like Tom Hanks, uh, Lady Gaga, uh, whose music I play whenever I paint. Uh, it just, it has a groove. Uh, her and Rod Stewart have the same groove. And, uh, uh, but other people, people like George Boulefant, who lives here in the desert, and uh, and of course, uh, Phyllis Eisenberg, uh, who's very well known around the desert for her work uh, helping other people. And, uh, uh, and she's a good friend of Mel Brooks. And Marilyn Monroe, I've always been an admirer of uh, Marilyn Monroe. So basically, that's, that's who I like to paint. And, uh, and the other criteria is it's uh, sometimes very difficult to get the right painting, the right photograph, because I paint from photographs. And for example, I did one on Queen Elizabeth uh, last year, and I looked at about 1,500 photographs, and I made a few observations about the Queen. One is she never looks directly at the camera, and two, she often wears two different colors of lipstick. So, anyhow. <laughs> That's very interesting, and I'm sure you captured all of those details in your paintings. And you have, you know, local heroes, icons, uh, people that uh, that people recognize often, like Frank Sinatra. Why do you think it's so important to have an exhibit like this that's going to benefit the Artist Center? Well, I'd like to say that we're, first of all, very pleased to be able to provide this gallery space for Jim to display his exhibition of the 63 wonderful oil and acrylic uh, paintings of these icons. He's been a wonderful supporter of the Artist Council from day one. And we now operate the Artist Center at the Galen in Palm Desert, where this exhibition will be taking place for, for two weeks only, from January 8th through January 22nd. We're, we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, but Wednesday through Sunday, you can go see this exhibit during that time frame from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And these pieces will be available for sale. Also, this beautiful coffee table book will be available for sale. And uh, Jim's very generous. He's uh, sharing some of the proceeds with us. And that will go to help uh, further the operations of the Artist Council and support uh, some of our education programs and art classes and, and uh, up upcoming exhibitions for a ch uh, youth art exhibition. That's very exciting. Uh, yeah. You, yeah. Especially with all the resources that you have for anyone that wants to invest in the arts here locally, they can get more details um, at theartistcouncil.com or at the number right there on your screen. You can also find uh, the directions to the Artist Center at the Galen. Again, thank you so much for being here today, and right. we're looking forward to seeing more. Our pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.